Hi, and welcome to another episode of Build Restore Repair. In this episode, we will discuss our 5 kW solar power system. We will run through the installation, operation, mobile app, and our electricity savings so far. So this is our roof right before the installation. It was a good thing that our roof was relatively flat and had no adjacent structures or trees to cast shadows upon the panels. The first order of business was to attach the aluminum footings to the roof with tech screws. Some of the crew were drilling them halfway while some were putting sealant on them before they were screwed all the way in. This is to make sure that no rainwater will get in. After that, they fastened the railings onto the aluminum footings. The technical design was pretty straightforward and there were 5 crewmen working on the roof so this part didn't take that long to finish. The lead technician then began working on the grounding wire after all the railings were in place. The solar panels were then hoisted to the roof and laid on top of the railings one by one. Mounting brackets were used to secure them to the railings. While all the roofing work was being done, another pair of crewmen were working on the inverters and breakers downstairs. These components needed to be installed near the main breaker of the house and that's why I chose this location. All the wires from the solar panels were then routed through a GI metal conduit all the way to the inverter. It rained for a few minutes during installation and work was slowed down for a bit. And now, this is what the roof looked like with all the solar panels in place. All in all, the installation took one and a half days to complete. The half day was all spent on bending GI conduits and directing the wires from the inverter all the way to the main meter outside our house. Now let's take a closer look at the inverter and other components. So the wires from the solar panel connects to these four breakers and then into the four inputs of the power inverter. This is the inverter's power switch, Wi-Fi dongle, the limiter, and the output to the main meter outside of the house. To view the screen, you just need to knock on the inverter. The display is pretty straightforward. It just displays the current power production the daily production so far, and the total power produced since the beginning of operation. So from the solar panels, the wire goes into the inverter, and then from the inverter, the line goes all the way to the meter outside. Here at the meter, we will see that our house is only consuming 0.5 kilowatts. When in fact, our house is right now using a little above 4 kilowatts. So the solar system is subsidizing our consumption. This number fluctuates depending on the amount of clouds covering the sun. The more clouds, the less energy production. If clouds are blocking the sun, our system only produces 1 to 2 kilowatts. And it can even go below 1 kilowatt if it's raining or if there is a storm. But if it's ultra sunny without clouds, the energy production can go as high as 4 to 5 kilowatts, which is the maximum that our system can offer. Now let's look at the app where we can monitor the inverter. The app is called ThinkPower. It's a very basic app where you can see the power production of the whole system. The data are arranged so that you can see the daily, monthly, and yearly harvest of the solar panels. It also displays the total energy saved since the start of the operation and even the current power that the system is producing. The daily and total income is also displayed and the CO2 equivalent is also computed. It records the history of power generation and gives different charts for easy reference. So our system was first commissioned last May 29, 2021. And after 8 months, we were able to produce 4,293 kilowatt hours of energy. 
In the Philippines, 1 kilowatt is equal to 10 pesos, so our total savings is now at 42,930 pesos. That's almost $900 of savings. Not to mention that we still haven't transitioned our system to net metering and still haven't gone through an extreme summer season yet. For sure, there are more savings yet to come in the future. In my estimation, this system will pay for itself in about 4 to 5 years. Not bad at all. So there you have it, a simple rundown of a 5 kilowatt solar power system for the home. What do you think? Will you also get one for your house? Comment your thoughts down below. I would love to hear from you. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. It will really make my day. See you on the next Build, Restore, Repair episode.